John Porter with JPC Toolset. Today we're going to be diving into video number 17 where we'll explore the process of taking off stairs using our miscellaneous metals tool set, now an integral part of our offerings. Before we jump into the uh, demo, let's take a moment to review what's included in our tool chest for miscellaneous metals under our Division 5 there. So if we look on our left hand side panel, which is our tool chest, you're going to see additional tool sets for Miss Metals that were added from our previous uh, tool chest that we had. So it starts with our metal stairs, which are basically our stringers and panes. Then we're going down to our metal rails. And then we have our metal gratings. We have our floor plates. We have treads and nosing. And then uh, these are all additional tool sets to cover uh, all the additional sections which are under the Construction Specification Institute. So let's get going with some stairs. Uh, first, before I start, the way I build those tool sets is uh, I grouped up a bunch of tools or types and sizes to create a stair. And each one of them is going to have different components in it. So if I start with this one, this is um, a riser grouping, uh, a grouping of uh, parts and assemblies. So this is going to have your connection material that you need to uh, tie off your flight to the concrete down below there. So we're going to start with this one. Then we're going to have intermediate uh, stringers and pans. And then we're going to have a dog leg at the uh, top part, which is going to create uh, part of your landing there. Then we're going to start again with a second uh, dog leg and after that the last one at the top um, that's going to be another uh, dog leg that we're going to need at that part there and we'll need two dog legs so I'll put it on. So after that to make it quick uh, what we're going to do is if I look at the number of risers that we have uh, we have 21. So we already have one, two, three, four, five, and six risers that we laid out. So the difference that's missing, uh, we're going to be missing, uh, that would be 14, 15 risers. So what we're going to do, since the balance of the risers will be uh, the same as this one, uh, I'm going to pull up the menu the markup list panel and then if we take that grouping and do a right click on it we're going to expand it and this is all the material that you have uh, in that one so what we want to do to be able to add our 15 uh, our 15 pans or stringers uh, we're just going to do a right click again we're going to ungroup and now we see all of the parts that were in that group they're all highlighted so the only thing I need to do is pull up my main property panel go in my quantities and I'm going to say 15 and then we close it up and now you see that we now have 15 of them in our takeoff lister so that's pretty straightforward and uh, the other thing we want to do at this point is just ungroup uh, the rest where we have single parts. So I'm just going to ungroup everything. Ungroup, ungroup, and ungroup. So that takes care of, like I said, our uh, stringers and pans. So let's do some uh, guardrails. So the next section where the guardrails are covered, it's under section 055200 for metal railings. So we're going to see into, and what I like to take off is work with the top rail. So right here, I'm going to lay out this one. And this, when I do a double click, it's going to terminate uh, the length of that member. So that becomes your main assembly. So if I keep going, I'm going to do a single click to start a new measurement. I'm going to single click and double click at this point. So that's going to be my second assembly. Then I'm going to single click, go up at this next level, single click and double click to finish up the length of that member. 
So now we have our top rail. So let's do some post in there. So for post, I have it right here. So this is one post, two post, three post, four post. We're going to need a second one, post and post. Then we're going to want to do the intermediate rails. So if we click on intermediate, we have one of them. But I'm not going to waste my time going through like each one of those spaces with the five rows of uh, intermediate rails. So I'm just going to click on this intermediate. intermediate um, and I'm going to say that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. So seven spaces times five rows, that's 35. So I'm going to take, go down into my markup list under the quantity column, and we're going to save 35 of those posts. And I see I did forget a few there, so I'm just going to take those off uh, pretty quick. There's one right here, and there's one here, and I would say there's another one. So this completes uh, the guard rails. So now let's do the wall rails. So again, I'm going to click on my wall rail. Here they're not showing any rails uh, going down to the uh, uh, to the uh, basement floor. But that's only because it's probably the way the elevation is shown. But I'm going to start with my wall rail. I'm going to go up, click, and double click. And I'll start my second rail here going up and it's going to finish here so now we have our guard guardrails wall rails and everything so we're all done with this takeoff for the uh, first set of stairs so if I pull up my markup list and let's look at uh, the data that we captured uh, when we did our, our take oh uh, just before I go there we might as well do our landing uh, so I'm going to go back to my metal railings, uh, zero 05, hold on, right here, and my landing. Uh, so here's all my material and my plate that I need for it. And same thing, all the plates and material, if we look at the markup list and we expand our grouping, here's all our material. So we only have one landing, so I'm just going to ungroup it on group and this would complete it for this level so uh, if you want to take a look at the markup list and look let's look at the data that we're capturing so first of all we have our column with the uh, check mark so if we click on it that's going to remove all of the filtering that we have in our markup list panel so if we look at it uh, what we took off the total weight we're looking at 2,490 pounds in material. We have 520 square feet to paint. Uh, we have the, uh, yeah, width, uh, some lengths that we need to do some welding. Uh, we have the shop hours per ton, field hours per ton. So if you guys are have your own numbers, uh, we're able to go into the markup list and change the fabrication rate. So I'm going to go in here and what I can do is double click on it and say we're going to take 25 man hours to do it. But with this, with the hours, you don't want to be doing every single line uh, one by one. So you're going to hold your shift key down, uh, click on the first line, scroll all the way down to the bottom of your screen. So we selected the entire uh, grid. So we're going to pull up our a main property panel and if we look for the shop hours per ton cell we're going to say it's 35 hours per ton so now that we have that we're going to close it off and if we look at it here's our shop hours per ton for all of our material that we have in there if you want you could break it out by uh, type and size here if you desire that's no problem same thing on site uh, so we're going to install that uh, 50 man hours per ton. So we're going to select again, uh, hold the shift key down, your first line item, scroll all the way down, select the last one, bring up your main property panel, 
hit your feel hours per ton and we're going to say that's 45 so let's close the panel and here's our 45 hours so now at the top of your grids you have uh, the total number of hours uh, if I pan all the way to my right so here's my total number of hours for the shop and the feel and also keep in mind the hours I have in there are just defaults for demos so it's going to be specific uh, to your shop there so um, yeah this completes uh, our markup after that the next thing that we may want to do for those of you who are using an excel spreadsheet to finish up your quote uh, you're going to want to export that probably using the csv summary uh, tool so if I click on it and I hit OK, that's going to export, give me a bill of material that you may want to use for uh, sourcing out products or whatever reason that you might need it. So if I look under my subjects, so here's all of my materials right here. Uh, we have all of our quantities and times so under the different columns the other thing that we're able to do it's like if you want to get it on in uh, as a subcategory uh, what you can do is I'm just going to close this off let's go to the uh, CSV summary again and what you want to do is come here and click on the uh, markup totals uh, hold on column headers markups and tools yeah so that's going to break it in different categories the only thing you need to do is right here under the uh, subject that's going to give you all the different categories by type and size so at this point go back to your export csv hit ok and now if we look at it we have break lines with the total weight of that category total fab hours so whatever information that you want to use there i'm just going to close this up i'm going to bring down my uh my markup list and with what you guys saw that should complete um, our demo for stairs uh, so just a side note if you want to keep on going with all your different levels what you can do is take your selection tool right here select everything and you could group this stairwell as one and after that you just do once you have all of the uh, grouping you do a right click you do a copy and paste so now you have your second stairwell and you keep on going and paste so now you have your third so uh that's gonna that's gonna wrap up our overview of taking off stairs using the miscellaneous metals tool set we hope you find this demo helpful and that it gives you a better understanding on of how our tools can streamline your workflow. For more information, additional resources, and to explore our full range of offerings, uh, be sure to visit our website at www.jpctoolset.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in, our, in the next video.